Hi, I'm Jennifer Pulley, and welcome to NASA Connect, the show that connects you to math, science, technology, and NASA. Right now, we are at an archaeological dig site in historic Jamestown, Virginia. Imagine being a settler in Jamestown in 1607. You and your family gave up the comfort of the life you knew in England to set off on a perilous transatlantic journey in a small boat. Now you and the others in your party were headed for a place you knew little about and would need to find a way to survive. What if you had a way to remotely gather information about the region before you began the journey? Would this have influenced your decision to go? Could the information better prepare you to face the living conditions? This is not unlike the journey we envision for human settlement on Mars. What can we learn from the past that will help us tomorrow? On today's show, you'll learn how researchers observe the Earth from space in ways that we can't do here on its surface. You'll see how the data they collect from satellites is being used to help us make better use of our environment today by looking at how yesterday's civilizations used their precious resources. During the course of this program, your teacher will stop the tape and ask you several inquiry-based questions. Now this is your time to explore and become critical thinkers. Just as archaeologists in Jamestown are looking to the past for answers to the future, so is a dedicated team of researchers in the rainforest in Guatemala. Imagine you and your family are farmers in the northern quarter of Guatemala. Your family is using the land in the same way as your ancestors have for thousands of years. Now imagine that a group of scientists warn you that the type of farming you are practicing could jeopardize your family's way of life and the future of the Patan rainforest that you live in. You could even be changing the Earth's climate for the worse. While you have noticed few changes in your immediate surroundings, scientists tell you, they have been observing this region from space and have evidence you are making the same dangerous mistakes in your environment that your ancestors did. What would you do? You know, this is a real problem facing the people of Guatemala today. So, on today's show, we will look at one of the ways NASA is working to preserve our environment by learning lessons from the past. But first, Let's put on our thinking caps. Students working in groups, take a few minutes to answer the following questions. What do you think remote sensing means? What are some of the ways that you collect information about the world around you? Choose an object in the class and describe it using as many details as possible without getting close to it or touching it. It's now time to pause the program and answer the questions.